Hey guys, Repairman here with you again with another episode of My Big City. So, just like we have this skyscraper, Sears Tower, and the bank, got a new addition to the big city, a factory. And, like with all the rest of my buildings, it's go big or go home. <laughs> and it's fully functional, just like all my other buildings. They have purpose and stuff inside they don't just look cool so sure I show sent you guys uh, some pictures of the factory on Twitter now I got a few auto farms set up inside we got a automatic cactus factory cactus drops down into the hoppers comes down here goes into this chest just turned it on a moment ago so only has a few in there well that Technically, I turned off the send a storage system. So what that does is that turns on and off the hopper underneath that sucks that out and into the automatic travel system. Are basically a whole bunch of hoppers that I've lined up towards the skyscraper. So once I do my automatic sorting and storage system inside the skyscraper. Um, that'll all be stored inside the skyscraper so the factory will be all making the stuff and skyscraper will store it and that's where we get it and everything so then all i gotta do is i want to send those off on their way just flip that see oh off on their way they go and i'll show you that in a moment and also here i got an automatic melon and pumpkin farm got it double sided so i got quite a bit of them that uh, spawn and get dropped in these hoppers and automatic farm you turn that off that goes and shoots redstone down that which turns on these torches which keeps the pistons from dropping down and crushing the uh, pumpkins and melons breaking them down into items so they can be sucked up at the hoppers but turn it on so it keeps functioning and send a storage switch just like the other one and there we got some melons now oh, why we got pumpkins sometimes tend to spawn a little slower at times but and we want to send those 15 send them on their way flip that off on their way there you go into my storage system or into the traveling system and over here we got feather and chicken farm so we got for, eh, just toss in there four for now test out the system see what's more most effective but four in there they spawn the eggs eggs go into the dispenser Spencer pumps them out little baby chickens there we got one in there as soon as he grows up his head will stick further into the lava and he'll start to die and get sucked up by the hopper because that's a half slab and then he items go into the chests that eh, looks like uh, don't have any, any yet. I just built this, so haven't had much time for them to spawn out. Plus, they do take a while to grow up. They take 20 minutes or so to grow up, and it takes about 13 or so eggs popping out before it makes one chicken or baby chicken. But yeah, that one's also not uh, hooked up to my dispenser system yet, and I also kind of turned it the wrong direction. I kind of OC about having stuff exactly perfect and it's not exactly perfect so I'm going to tear that down and replace it so it lines up just perfect with this. So now I come down here here's our storage system. So a cactus farm comes down, feeds over and comes down to here goes into the system, shoots on down. Here we got slime farm now. Slime farm is another one that I have. Down here just come down here Slime farm, a slime chunk. I have two of them, so I happen to build a nice size little slime chunk. I have spawns turned off, that's why they are not down here. And then they just fall down here. Cactus kill them, and into the hoppers they go. Hoppers all around. Yep. And those get fed down here into my automatic traveling system, and they head over to the item elevator. 
Well, then I into the eye of Valor and then into the trailing system over here. I'll find the way they go. And also, if you come down here, get the iron farm. That one gets shot down this way. It shoots down here. All that stuff. It's all the way down here. I have two pipelines because the other, half of the factory on one side, half on the other side. That way, it doesn't bottleneck the speed of transferring the items. And all the items get pumped into here. And then once they're, they'll keep on going on their way into the item storage but for now I just have these just to collect it until I actually put the storage system in nothing in those because no farm set up on that side chickens aren't hooked up on that side up we go alright and iron golden farm here those guys shoot down there down the tube into lava and get sucked up by the hoppers. Now, that's that iron golem farm. Also, I haven't tested that out, but it seems like that should be a good build. Now, for my latest little contraption for a supersized factory, we need a supersized furnace. So, here we have super furnace. This thing goes and sorts out all the items into one into everything and before it puts the second one in. So it evenly distributes all the items and all the fuel. So this side we dump the fuel, so like so. Dump the fuel in there. We'll make sure and wait to release them down until they've gotten all the way across. Boom, and then release them down into the hoppers. Oh. That seems quick, yeah. like that pumps them on in there now that's that part and also I'll probably be making an automatic uh, fuel system silo and everything so it has tons and tons of fuel so all you got to do is pump in your items and here we just pump in our items bang throw them on in there just like the fuel shoots them all down dispense them in nice and evenly and poof, all the fire all of them come to life we come in over here Notice they start pouring on in here. Racing pace. No more having to uh, drop a couple items and wait along, drop a stack or two and wait forever for them to spawn or um, cook up. Here, cook up a full stack in relatively no time at all. Look at that. Full stack basically done. A couple still got to feed through. Got some Bam, there we are, full stacked on. Some iron coming through, that's that. And that's only 12 furnaces. In my final design of this, I'm gonna put another set of 12 on the other side and merge them together and have a, a system to go and spread them evenly into both sets of the furnace. It's my little project covered up over there for merging these, still working on that development but this once it's done we'll go inside the factory and I'm gonna make it also possibly so that you just from multiple different locations in the map you can just drop in your items it'll shoot them all the way over to the factory cook them and then shoot them all the way back into uh, wherever you happen to be like the uh, the skyscraper or wherever but for now once I'm make it I'll just put in the factory for now and that's that well there'll be more to come and I hope you guys enjoyed this little video if you guys want more or extra details into some of the things I've created just shoot me a message uh, in the comments below and I'll get to it and you guys have a good one